Hi guys, I'm Woodcraft Hamster and I thought I'd do a uh, slightly unusual video for you today. It's been a little while since I've done a video about something other than woodcraft and bushcraft. Um, and I like to throw one of these in every now and again just to see how people take them. Um, now basically, as some of you know, um, I used to be uh, into my shooting quite a lot. I used to shoot air guns, um, used to go hunting and target shooting, that kind of thing. Um, and recently I kind of wanted to rekindle that, um, that love of shooting. Um, and obviously being in the UK there are a number of restrictions. I was looking for something that I could basically use at home. Um, and came up with this, um, which I'll show you in a little bit more detail in a second. Um, so, you know, rifle shooting, because I don't have a particularly large garden, um, you know, it didn't, didn't seem kind of the right thing to do. Um, I've shot several different types of air pistols in the past, and I thought, you know, I want to go with something um, that's kind of going to be uh, more of a fun thing to do in the garden than anything particularly serious. Did a little bit of research, looked back on some of the ones I'd used before, um, and as I say, I came up with this, uh, which is a CO2 powered gun. Um, and what I think I'll do is I'll bring the camera a little bit closer in and I'll show you this in a bit more detail and explain a little bit more about it. Right then guys, so as you can see, this is a Colt Single Action Army, otherwise known um, generally more so as the Colt Peacemaker. Um, it is a, a full-size replica of the original Colt 45 version. Uh, it's made by a company called Umarex, um, who are a, a fairly well-known um, air gun manufacturer. And basically, I went with this model after doing a bit of research because I've used other air weapons in the past, um, some Umarex, some others, um, and I've used a lot of these CO2 type pistols. Um, and basically, this seemed to have the best reviews, and certainly, just in, from my experience with these kind of things, it is the, the most uh, realistic. Um, imitation you know air weapon I've ever come across um, so we'll start off with the box you know cardboard box given a nice sort of um, you know wood distressed finish uh, something very similar to what the original Colts would have come in a um, few bits of detail on here so it's co2 BB air gun it takes 4.5 millimeter steel balls um, powered by a 12 uh, gram co2 cartridge it's a single action pistol which I'll explain a bit more in a minute um, and the, the nice thing about this is it actually comes with um, brass cartridges that you load the BBs into. Um, so I'm sure you're all very keen on me to get this box open. And here we have the air gun itself. Um, now I'm trying to do this from a slightly weird angle, so bear, you'll have to bear with me. Um, so this is, let me move this down a little bit, this is the pistol. And it's, this is the blued version. It also comes in um, a sort of a, a, a shiny nickel um, and also a sort of a distressed antique finish. Um, now the first thing I really want to show you, and hopefully this will pick up on the audio here, is I'm just gonna cock this gun. And for those of you that are sort of shooting enthusiasts, I'm sure you'll appreciate this. Just the, the, the sound of that action being cocked by itself is, is just something, there's something really, really nice about it. Um, and moving on I suppose slightly, so I said earlier on this is a single action um, pistol. What that means is that when it's not cocked, I can pull the trigger and nothing will happen. Um, in order for you to fire it, you have to cock the action and then you can pull the trigger. Um, the nice thing about this is it's actually manufactured by Umarex under license from Colt. So this is basically, uh, uh, almost an exact replica of the original. Um, so on the side here you've got the loading gate, you flip that open and you can get to those brass cartridges I was talking about. Now at the moment the cylinder is, is stuck where it is, you can't move it. What you have to do is half cock the weapon, like so, and now you can rotate the cylinder. And one of the nice little touches is you've actually got the ejection spring here, uh, which was we also had on the original, and you can do that and your, your um, cartridge will come out. Same thing again. Um, now the reason for that ejector on the originals was that when you fired um, a cartridge in there, the cartridge itself would expand because of the hot gases and you needed to give it a little bit of motivation to get out. Now on this one, because there's no expansion, you can line your cartridge up and it'll literally just tip out. Um, so, you know, it, it really is like shooting the real thing, apart from the noise and the recoil that you would get from a, from a you know, a gunpowder pistol. 
Um, now these cartridges, they're nice little brass cartridges, they've been kept to look fairly similar to the real thing apart from the lead slug you would have on the end and hopefully you can see if I line this up properly these are completely hollow um, and what you'll do is you'll pop a little 6mm, uh, sorry 4.5mm steel BB in the end here that then gets loaded back like so I'll, I'll put the others in there quickly so they will all get loaded in and you're good to go and you have six shots and then you have to either refill these cartridges or if you have spares you can knock these out and put the put the new ones straight in now this weapon is powered by a 12 milligram, oh sorry, a 12 gram CO2 cartridge. And the nice thing about this, um, which you don't normally see on other kind of air weapons, is that the handle that comes off there, you've got a little Allen key on the end. Now that Allen key slots into the end here. You just get that on camera, and you twist that round a few times, work the screw out, and then you can drop out your CO2 power lip and put a fresh one in. Now I've got a dead one in here at the moment, because um, so I've been playing around with this just to just to sort of see how it feels in the hand after I'd used up the, the first one. Um, but you know, this is a really, really nice um, you know, imitation pistol or air pistol, call it what you like. Um, but these are great fun for sort of shooting in your back garden. Um, I've actually set something up in my workshop here, which I will show you um, probably on another video if, if this, this, this um, video and this topic receives any kind of interest. Um, I get the general feeling that most of my subscribers are probably into this kind of thing alongside the bushcraft and the woodcraft. Um, but, you know, let me know in the comments below what you think, um, if this is something you'd like to see a little bit more of. Um, and I will be more than happy to, uh, to elaborate on this uh, on this particular um, piece of equipment. Right then guys, well that was it, just a really quick introductory video um, to my new Colt single action army or peacemaker depending on what you like to call it. Um, really been enjoying playing around with this in my garden recently, um, it really is good fun um, you know, it's low powered um, and as long as you get a nice little backstop in there so that things don't sort of ping off and go astray, um, they're very, very good um, sort of air weapons to be using in sort of a garden environment, that kind of thing. Um, as I say, if you want to see more of this, please let me know in the comments um, and I'll more than happily do a few more videos on this. Um, just to give you a bit of an idea on scale, um, you know, you can kind of see roughly the size against my hand. If I put this up here, you know, this is not a small air pistol um, and it's certainly very weighty. I, I didn't get the, uh, the, uh, the details for it. I might throw a couple up on the screen for you just now, um, just so you can sort of see some of the, the, the weight and the length. It's, it's actually a five, uh, five and a half inch barrel, uh, which is kind of sort of the mid-range size. They also um, used to come in, let me think, uh, 4.75 inch and seven and a half inch barrels. Um, this is the one that Umarex make, and I think it's generally considered sort of the standard size. Uh, but yeah, it's just really, really nice. The fact that you're kind of taking out a cartridge and replacing it with a new one every time you shoot um, just gives it a real nice kind of feel. Um, and you know, it, it really does kind of make you feel like you are shooting the real thing. As I said before, minus the, uh, the sort of the kick and the noise that you would get from a gun powder, a gun powdered. Um, pistol. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really liking it. Um, the build quality is absolutely superb. Um, you know, the look, the feel, the weight, e everything is just really nice. You know, I've shot a lot of air pistols in the past, um, you know, imitation versions of Berettas and Colt 45, 1911s, um, the, who else make them? Um, the Wolf uh, CP88, um, none of which are bad air pistols. Um, and the other thing I should say is they also make this in a uh, 177 pellet version with a rifled barrel. Um, now I am currently debating whether or not to get myself one of those as well. Um, and again, if you want to see more of this and you want to see maybe some, some shooting with it and some accuracy testing and that kind of thing, more than happy to do so. Um, so that was it guys, hope it was useful, um, hope it's uh, you know something a little bit unusual for my channel but still interesting to you guys. Uh, comments and questions in the box below, hit like and subscribe if you'd like to see more and I hope you'll all join me next time. Thanks guys.